Hi guys, this is Integration TV, my Mukhadishi Summer, live from Lido Beach, uh, my Mukhadishi Summer Vlog Series. And uh, we just want to show you guys how fun it is on Lido Beach, the Somalia you don't see in the media. So I had a lot of comments and messages about the first episode of the My Mukhadishi Summer. So uh, people asked me like, why did you come to Somalia? Uh, they asked me, don't you think it's dangerous? They asked me, uh, what is what is actually your story like what are you doing here what did you used to do in uh, so uh, in uh, holland so uh so let's begin with uh, why did i come to somalia um for the christmas break my my dad lives in nairobi he lives uh, he lives in nairobi he works in Mogadishu. he's a businessman so for the christmas break he asked me like uh, do you want to come to nairobi to visit me and i was like uh, yeah sure why not so I, I came to Nairobi, so I came to Nairobi uh, to him and uh, after five days staying in Nairobi he asked me like do you want to come with me to Mogadishu and let me be honest with you guys I, 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 was, I was thinking about it for two days, two days long because the, Mogadishu is not the first place, first, first uh, place you think about when you want to go on a vacation so um, after two days later when when my dad asked me again i was like yeah why why not i want to go back to my roots i want to see my people i want to see my uh, i want to see my country i want to go back to dulukohoya so let me tell a story about me uh, a little introduction about myself i'm born in somalia i'm 18 years old i'm rashid abdullahi that's my name uh, so i'm born in somalia behani when i was one year old uh, we went to uh, yemen and then uh, one year later, we came back to Somalia. Uh, my mom, she became a refugee and she went to uh, um, Holland. My sister became a refugee, she went to Italy and I went with my dad to Nairobi. So we were all separate from each other because uh, it simply said it was just too expensive to, um, to go all with each other. Do I like it in Somalia? Yes, I do. Uh, it, it's kind of a culture shock because I didn't have a lot of Somali friends in Holland, I had a lot of Gal friends. Uh, so I had a lot of white friends, a lot of Dutch friends. So all these friends, they were... Um, I'm raised up in two cultures. My mom did her best to uh, give me the, so the Somali culture too. Uh, it worked on some topics and it didn't work on some other topics. So, um, so yeah, it's... So that I had a lot of conflicts because of uh, the two different cultures. Uh, that's true. So um, and my mom raised her by myself. She was a single mom. She raised me and my sister by herself as a single mom. She was my dad and she was my mom. Um, I could have, t I could tell everything to my mom. I have a good bond with her. Uh, sometimes I didn't appreciate her what she did for me, but now, now I do. Is I just think I was too young to appreciate things she did for me. I still remember she went to uh, she went to school. She worked and uh, she raised us. And <clears throat> she was taking care of us. So I'm I'm really thankful for my mom. Um, Allah blessed me with a, with a great mom. I, I really love her. So um, I used to live I used to live with my sister too. My sister's 20 years old. Layla Abdullah is her name. Uh, I have a good bond with my sister too, we can talk about everything, of course we fight, yeah we fight a lot like every brother and sister does but she, she knows I love her and uh, she knows she knows I have, I would do anything for her. So um, people, uh, you guys asked me like, uh, is, it, is it not dangerous in Somalia? Let's say it's not really dangerous but the first days when I came to Somalia when I heard a gunshot 
like wallah i was grabbing my heart i was so i was so scared i was i was in shock because i never heard a gunshot in my life only when i came to somalia but now i'm, I'm kind of used to it to the gunshots uh, it's not something to get used to it, but what do you expect it's a country what is what is building itself up from a uh, more than a 20 years old uh, 20 years long civil war and <clears throat> And they're just like they they just came out of a civil war three years ago. So uh, people ask me too, like Rashid, what the hell are you doing in Somalia? You're only chilling. Uh, all the snaps I can see is you only being at the beach, uh, being in restaurants. You're living you're living the good life. Okay, yes, yes, I'm living I'm living the good life. Uh, I'm really I really do. Uh, what, I, what I do in Somalia, I attend university three days a week. Uh, my dad was like, uh, Rashid, you, you cannot just uh, chill around and do nothing. Uh, you need to educate yourself. And of course I do. So I went to university for three days a week. And uh, university ends in uh, two weeks. So uh, the other stuff I do in Somalia, like people said, I chill with my friends. Uh, I have a lot of uh, diaspora friends. Uh, from all over the world I uh, have uh, local friends too so uh, the local friends and f lucky for me I'm a social person I'm an open person my integration is really good so uh, people so people ask me like uh, don't you how is it being friends with uh, local Somalis let's say for me for me it's kind of easy but for other people, I know for other people it's really hard because they don't have the same image as we have. Uh, they they think different than we do. So um, people ask me to like, and this is what I really thought about too. Like, did did did, uh, did Mukhadishu change your image of life? And yes, it did. It did. It really did. I am. Uh, I'm so happy with all the luxury I have. I'm so happy with the family I have. I'm so happy with everything Allah blessed me with. So I see little children and they are playing outside, laughing outside, and they are sleeping outside with dirty clothes, without shoes. Uh, I posted a video on my Instagram too uh, from a little kid uh, dancing uh, uh, in the Depke area. And the little kid is so poor, he sleeps He sleeps outside, he doesn't have a mom, he doesn't have a dad, his dad uh, left him and his mom, uh, his mom died, he doesn't have money, he doesn't have clothes, uh, he wears like three days a week the same clothes, four weeks and, uh, and the all dirty and everything but he's dancing, he's laughing, he's, he's enjoying life and sometimes I was like, oh my god, I'm not enjoying life, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have that. Uh, my friends have this, my friends have that, and I don't like people. We need to cut it off. I'm, I'm really happy with. You, you need to be happy with what you have. It could be worse. It could really be worse. So um, I think we're done for today. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, thumbs up, please. Uh, share this with your friends. Share this with uh, Somalis from around the world. Uh, this is Integration TV live from uh, Mukhadishu. I'm your host Rashid Abdullahi. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Mukhadishu Summer. Follow me on Instagram, R A S H I D D 88. Well, uh, thank you and uh, take care, guys.